Hey guys, Will and James here from Press Start TV. You, Craig, studio head from Rare, working on Sea of Thieves. First of all, at the media briefing, you guys looked amazing. Thank you. Oh yes. It was so great to see the game, more gameplay. And I don't know, we were just talking about it afterwards and like, you know, what stood out at the briefing. We were all just going, you know, see if these just look fun. See if it these was the, the first thing we actually named when it was just like, all right, what, what was the best impression? And it was that because just getting to play with your friends and the, the organic nature of it, the teamwork that is involved. Yep. And I just saw like the Let's Play videos are going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, Craig, uh, I mean, the, the response looks amazing. Tell us a little bit about your, I know you've been narrowly just focused on what you're doing, but uh, how has the response been so far? Yeah, I mean, it, it's been it's been amazing, like, and, and in every way, like, it, it's humbling to hear people, like, first time we've brought gameplay to, the, to a show, it's first time, like, apart from those fans that you've seen play in the, in the video we showed in the briefing, like this is this is the first time we've let people outside the studio play. They look the like they were having a great time. So. Yeah, and, and you know it was it was actually like just showing the game in that way. Like we, we were really passionate about like that's how we are when we play the game. It's very organic. And and you know li literally like I said on stage, you know we we brought these guys into the studio. We sat them down, we put them into crews, like we didn't tell them what was going on, we didn't let them, I was, let them figure it out by themselves. Yeah, that's what I was and, wondering and if they were just going along. And that just joy of discovery and yeah. all those reactions and everything they did was, those were all genuine. was what they did and we, yeah. and we filmed it and we told them we, we, told them we were going to film it, we didn't tell them we were going to use it for E3. Yeah. So uh, so I'm sure they were as surprised as, as everyone else was. The, the team that started in the pub was definitely my favorite. Start yeah. out drinking for your pirate adventure like there is no other way. I, like, well, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. And and it's really about that fun and you know, rare games have always had a soul and they've always been about fun and, and you know, we want to give you this pirate world where you can play the way you want to play and be the pirate you want. And you know, the reason I wore the Goonies t shirt in the briefing, yeah. like it's yeah, that was in one of our original like bits of inspiration and it's yeah. like it's about friends going on adventures together and that's the way our game should that's feel right. and and yeah, when people do that they smile and they laugh and when their ship's getting sunk they scream and they shout and, and yeah. that's just what our game yeah, is. Goonies is a great thing to base anything off of. It's such an impactful part of our culture. Yeah, really. I didn't even think about the, the references that's there, tired. but it makes perfect yeah. sense yeah. now. And, that when you think and it's more just about that that kind of you and your crew against the world. Yeah. Like in yeah, we want we want that sacred kind of crew bonds, like you're there on a ship, you're there hunting for treasure, like you're there exploring this world and, and we want it to feel like it's you and your friends on an adventure against the world. And when you see another sail on the horizon, you know that's another group of players. Right. And you get that really like awesome pirate moment a where adrenaline going that, start, that's you know, it. something's gonna happen. You, you see and you start them, talking in your best pirate voices, you, Alas, sending me ahead. You, you know they've seen you and, and like it's that moment of like, oh, like, what are we going to do? And, you know, what we've got at E3 here is a very ship combat orientated. Uh, you know, we've got three ships, 15 stations. They're all sailing around in the same shared world. And part of the reason for that is because at E3, like, we've got to get people through in, like, right. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, they can't just spend time just lollygagging around. Like, we, we do play tests in the studio. We play for hours. Yes. Like, and, and literally, it's a game you can get lost in. And, you know, it's simple things like, yeah, I think our, our wait time is like four hours. It's yeah, pretty. Well, we saw that you mentioned yeah. that earlier. It's just it's amazing. Just Let's to talk, come find you was very difficult. A little bit about the uh, campaign. Is there a driven story in this time? So it, one of the one of the real kind of you know core visions of the game is when you go on adventures with your friends, we want you to create your own stories because because of the imagination, no two see if these adventures will will feel the same. So so we haven't got a you know. Blackbeard or Black Pearl or anything like that. We expect the players to become those legends of the game. Nice. So if you and your crew are motivated by being the most notorious pirates, and we're going to go out and we're going to, you know, deck our ship out in a way that makes us feared, and we're going to go every time we see another ship, we're going to go and engage in battle, and we want to be revered. Like it's notorious. Oh, love it. You we can allow you to do that, and we want to allow you to play that way. And equally, if you want to be the kind of crew that just go on if exploring and you know, want to go find all the treasure in the game, like, that's a way. If you want to be social and and just drink grog and play musical instruments and just have, have a pirate party. So in that regard, I have like a really burning question. So you're a pirate. Yep. Um, one of the driving things of any pirate is, is booty treasure and all that absolutely so, so those acquisitions of items and like you said decking out your ship and everything what kind of progression is there what kind of itemization is there? so so gold and treasure is super super important and you know we're still 
for, for us, like this is the start of our Sea of Thieves journey. This yeah. is the first time we've got it in players' hands. We, obviously, we've got tons and tons of ideas about what we want to do, and 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 for us, like. It's really like whatever aspirations you'd think of you'd have as a pirate, that's what we want to allow you to do. So, you know, we know golden treasure is important. Like people, sure. pirates want to get wealthy. Yeah, that, right. that's, that's what they're motivated by. We know pirates will expect to own their own ship. We know they'll expect to deck it out in their own way. We know, wealth, booze, ships. But, but, yes. but with a pirate, if you choose to be like, just attack everything you see play style, you, I guess you can, you know, take. Well, yeah. That's it. I mean, and if, if like, the great thing about a shared world, and, and we like to call it, you know, whether it's an evolving shared world or a changing shared world, is it's a world of consequence. And and in that world where, you know, you know, people stream their games, you know, people make videos, people twitch about their games and their crews and and like if you're that kind of player, like you'll you'll get a reputation of being that kind of player. Yeah. And guess what? Might mean other cruiser pirates might be on the lookout for yeah, you. You get a target on you, man. That, that's it. And and you know we we love the and we we're really just scratching the surface of like the social dynamics of you know meeting other players in the world. And and we don't want it all to be combat orientated. Like if you've you know. One thing that happens when we play it, like if you've just went and, and got a load of treasure and you're making your way back to port to trade it in, share, share your wealth you know, with the rest of your crew, probably the last thing you want is a pirate battle. Because right. yeah. you're vulnerable, like yeah. you've got treasure, maybe you're... You're just trying to have a good time damage. at this point. That's your That's downtime. You, know, you, you just want to you get there, you want to cash in your, your treasure and, um, and, and it's just really about creating all those emerging stories and you asked about stories you know there'll be tons of stories in sea of thieves but they'll be the yeah. stories that the players have yeah i love that uh you also said you could play like music and stuff like that yeah. i remember me and my friend we were we were playing like lord of the rings online one time we go into a tavern we found we could buy instruments and then we stood outside the tavern for 30 minutes just playing people started clapping and cheering us on and like just the fact that we killed almost a whole day just playing instruments <laughs> was that, killer. And, the, and the fun thing is like you get I mean, players are motivated by different things, and it depends what mood you're in as well. Yeah. Like, it's not even like... Sometimes I want to kill, sometimes I want to party. Th that's it, and it's really funny when you get a crew of people that want to do different things. Yeah. So you get people that want to be really efficient, which is like, no, no, we're going to we're going to angle the sails right, we're going to catch the wind, we're going to hunt down this other ship. And at the same time, there's other members of the crew that are like drinking grog and playing musical instruments. And you see like the efficient <laughs> guys getting like really wound up. It's like... I no, smell like, mutiny on the horizon. Man mechanics, yeah. like, you know, and it's and again just like the fun and dynamic like you know I, I read some stuff online and it's like oh those you know those reactions in your video when you know, weren't genuine and people were really smiling and like I've just watched people play it like for two days yeah. and they're all smiling and they're doing they're doing exactly the same thing yeah. as the people that we filmed doing what we're, we're doing when can we expect us uh, see if these to set sail yep so we're not talking dates okay um, but right. you know a game you can tell me when the camera's off <laughs> you know. Uh, but you know, a game, a game like this, you know, a, a shared world online adventure, like it, it really is about, you know, we've got, you know, it, it's a super complicated game. So how players play, like how we match make players, how play, what players do in the world, like. Our next goal after we get back from E3 is really getting some sort of closed beta together. Yeah. And then we're gonna, you know, it will be invite only to start, and we're just gonna try and scale it with a group of players, just as we, you know, like say, hone our matchmaking, hone our servers, our services, test scale, and really, like, you know, make sure that the game, you know, feels great. All those different play types are supported, and people can play the, the way they want to play, and we can, we can ultimately build the game out to. To, to satisfy all those player needs. Just Excellent. one last question for you. Your favorite thing about the game so far? Uh, oh, wow. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard because I know all the stuff that we're not showing. Yeah. Like, so so that's my immediate set. So, so far. Uh, of what you've shown, what is your favorite? I, our ship-to-ship -ship combat, honestly, is the most visceral thing I, I have ever played. Like, because, because you're in first person, because you're literally pointing a cannon, seeing the trajectory of the cannonball, trying to aim it, like, it, it just feels like no other game. You know, just sitting there watching, I, I was, like, getting, like, feeling the adrenaline that they were feeling, just, you're like, uh-oh, here it comes, here we go, you know, you could tell that the players were, like, getting excited about that combat. In fact, I've changed my mind, actually, when your boat's sinking, like, when you, and, and I think, I think it was Mike that did it in the, uh, in the briefing video, like, when you go downstairs and you're, t like, downstairs into the bottom of the ship and you're taking on water, <laughs> yeah. you look at the sign and there's, like, it. water pilling in, <laughs> like, and you I think, because like, I think we're going to drown, like, it's, it, like, it, every single time it just, like, ah, like, it just, it's panic, like. Craig, you guys should be so proud. Thank you so much for taking some hey, time with us. Nice, we really thanks. appreciate it. Keep it here on Press Start hey, TV for Sea of Thieves. We're so excited Thank about you. this game. Check it out. Keep your eye on it. It's going to be great. Cheers. Peace.
Pitt.